musical session under the button of Carl Hessian. All you goody goodies, especially Dame Trot, the tail bag's so sweet that I loathe her a lot. And her son Jack's no better. In fact, I suppose he should be called Bogey. He gets up my nose. <laughs> that very vain man may make a lot of noise, but don't let him worry you girls and boys. Although most people are afraid of the giant, there's still a little Jack. He remains defiant. And with all of you to help him, he's sure to win. So without further ado, let our story begin. One day. You're Jack's man. He's on mountain trousers. No, he isn't. If Jack puts his mind to something, he can mind. <laughs> he can do anything. That blunderbore had better watch out. His days are numbered. <laughs> Is that what you think, my pretty? <laughs> Your precious Jack wouldn't stand a chance against my master. Blunderbore is the most powerful giant in all the world. So. <laughs> what a monster. He makes Freddy Krueger look like Tinky Winky. Oh, does anyone know where Jack is? He's a children's band practice in the village hall. Oh, of course. Let's go and see if he's there. Okay. Hello, everybody. Hello. I'm Dotty. <laughs> don't be smart. I don't mean I'm daft. That's my name. Dotty Tross, the merry widow of Merrydale. Now... When I say widow, I'm referring to my late husband. And when I say late, I mean late. Twenty years ago, I sent him out to get a cauliflower for dinner, but he never came back. Oh, it was terrible, terrible. In the end, I had to open up a tin of peas. <laughs> but I've been lucky since. I was fortunate enough to buy a little calf called John. And since then, she's become a wonder cow. And now we're known as the Wonder Milk Company. And you know what my motto is? Dorsey always delivers. <laughs> everybody listen it's all very well being happy now but just think if we got rid of giant blunderbore we could be happy all the time yeah we don't want that horrible giant to rule our lives do we no no so i want you all to join my gang the down with giants gang will you yeah oh, wow, that's <laughs> Don't. Look, she's got two sticker uppers. <laughs> she's got four hanger downers. <laughs> oh, and she's a swisher. 
I'm so glad you're safe, dear. What's the hurry, Mum? The king is coming to collect the rent, and we have no money, we're broke. Good point. Okay, and. Make way! Make way for His Majesty King Maris of Merrydale! I mean subjects. Uh, 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 uh. Now, silly Billy, we're here to collect the rent. That's right, Your Majesty. Who's next on the list? Well, Your Majesty, we visited loads of people. We've been to Maru and we've been to... Oh, the now that we're in Merrydale, Your Majesty, we're going to see Dame Trot. <gasps> she hasn't paid her rent in years. Oh, well, she'll have to pay now. These are <clears throat> desperate times. Uh, out of my way, boy. I need to speak to Dame Trot. Uh, 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 that's my mother. Who? Where? <laughs> no, Dame Trot is my mother. Ah. Oh, then you must be her son. <laughs> that is a little time, a little time to pay the rent, you know. Well... Pretty, please. Oh, you've always known how to get round me. And you always knew how to get round me. <laughs> Yeah, start early in the morning. Uh, yeah. oh, your Majesty, if there's anything at all you would like. Oh, uh, it's quite, uh, it's quite all right, right Dotty. <laughs> Thank you. I'll be your son can come and work for me in the Royal Dairy. Oh, <laughs> that would be great, Your Majesty. Yes, then the money I give him, you can give back to me for rent. <laughs> Who do you think you are, Charlie McCreevy? Uh, uh, just someone like you. And someone like me lives on a
Dark Blood Boy likes collecting wild creatures too. Especially for his supper. And they don't come much wilder than you, Missy. Hasn't this been a wonderful day? It proves that Blood Boy rules okay! The gypsy gave me a bag of gold. Well. <laughs> a bag of coal? No, a bag of gold. No. <laughs> and you, John, was a fantastic well, cow. I did raise it from a little calf and everything. Oh, but you'd have never thought you were the bag of...
you've forgotten about me. I suppose I should be grateful I haven't been eaten yet, but I'm so lonely. <laughs> This is granted. Bless me, what do you want? I bring you good news, my dear. What is it? Well, I've been telling my master what a pretty little thing you are. And he's decided not to eat you after all. Is that true? Quite true. Oh, thank you. Now, instead of having you for his supper... <laughs> Instead of having you for his supper, he's decided to have you for his wife! <laughs> there we just will see. Hi, gang! Hi, Jack! Oh, oh, oh! Ah, ah! Right. song, give one more song. Ah, right. three. One, four, three. How does that thing? doesn't want his beef to smell. Giant Blunderbore just loves his meat. Hark! I think I hear his dainty feet. What's this pathetic creature that I see? Oh, it's a cow, Master. I brought her for your tea. I said before I hate roast beef. The horns get stuck between my teeth. Oh, I'm sorry, Master. What can I say? You hopeless henchman! Out of my way! Who's the girl? She's a pretty little thing. That's Jill, Master, the one you thought of marrying. What a beauty! <laughs> yes, she'll do for my wife. I would marry you to save my life. <laughs> Just you wait. Lock her in the dungeon till I decide her fate. At once, Master, whatever you say. I warned you, Jill. We've blown the more hills, Sway. Wow. He really is giant size. He's he's bigger than one of those th gladiators. Oh. Would you look at him? I bet you could eat three whole weeks of mix. <laughs> <laughs> He seems to have settled down again. Oh, John, it's great to see you again. Rest. I think I hear her. I see him here. Jill. Jack, is it me? You. Oh, I knew you'd come and rescue me.
That's what you promised.
Ladies and gentlemen, it gives us great pleasure to introduce you to the pantomime chairperson, Mrs. Mary Barrett. Hello everybody, I'd just like you to show your appreciation once more for this wonderful cast and show. Before we have our raffle, I just want to bring to your notice some people who are not noticed, but without them there would be no show. First of all, our sound, our lights, and our stewards, the wonderful people who get you here every week. <laughs> had a lot of things to do in the last week and they've done a marvellous job. Their Kira, Martina, Eber and Stephanie under their le leader Lorna Martin are pit singers. Please stand up and take it down. Come on. Come on. Stand up. Not forgetting also hidden from view but I'm sure you've heard them our wonderful orchestra. to introduce you to our producers, the powerful twins, Sean and Brian. I want to thank everybody on stage here. They've absolutely, absolutely put on a great show all week. It's been a long week, 12 performances uh, in tonight's performance, but they did very, very well. Again, show your appreciation for a wonderful cast. Certainly, uh, Mary Barish and our committee, we want to thank them very, very much for all their support because uh, we have to go to Mary a lot of times uh, during the, the, the rehearsal period uh, to, to ensure certain things are happening. And of course, she comes to us. So I must say, she's a, it's a great pleasure working with her and, and her team as well. So thanks, Mary Barish and team. When you look up here, you see the wonderful, the wonderful costumes uh, put together and coordinated by Mary Lopnan, again, another great worker, and she's... Down here. Okay. The, the makeup is organised by Betty Quirk and Anne Power and, and their team. That's the makeup. I think they're down here somewhere. Okay, we've got a few choreographers involved with this production. I'd like to start off with uh, Ursula Owen standing on the back there and Kenneth Kennedy. <laughs> also, we have uh, James Harris. Tim Landers, both choreographed. And we have Chris, Chris Meffin back here somewhere. There he is, Chris Meffin. Okay. We also had Karen Kelly, who wasn't here for the week. She, she choreographed one particular routine, which was the, the giant, or the, the beanstalk, the, the fairy dance. So she had to go back to London. So I want to thank her as well. And Aren't the Smurfs wonderful? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. And we'd like to thank Eamon McCarthy and Rina Heenan for all the work that they put in. No mean task. Again, we'd like to mention Carl Hitch and his August. Thank you very much, lads. Okay. And again, the, the pit singers under Lorna, down here, thank you very much. That's Lorna Martin. <laughs> now, we've also had guest singers involved in the production, and we had Sarah Keating uh, here. Okay. And on the, on the program, you would have seen Kenneth Long then, but unfortunately, Kenneth got sick for the week, so uh, we had. Uh, Sarah stepped in for us and also Sean stepped in to sing and Kenneth Kennedy helped to sing. So that covered off that. And also actually Neve, since Neve, she stepped in my life. And again, up on stage here, we have a wonderful backstage crew uh, under the stage management of Leonard Power. He's back there somewhere. <laughs> and there's a great bunch of guys helping them back there. And right throughout the week, here's different people coming in and out, helping out. And uh, there are, there's, a, there's a huge blue bus for all them guys back there. <laughs> and 
And the set design, this year was under Elaine Gray. She was responsible for all the set design. And again, there was a team of people helping her. There was a team of people helping her with uh, doing all the painting, etc. So again, thanks very much to, to Elaine. I think that basically mentions everybody. Again, thank you very, very much. Uh, the Gold audience have been wonderful all week since, I suppose, since Sunday night last or Monday morning, the show has been sold out. And that's a fabulous boost for any cast and crew coming in every night to find out that the show is sold out. Okay, so thank you very much. And uh, let's hear, look forward to the year 2000 and the I think it's going to be Cinderella, it will be the, the, the next one, no I'm saying that. So that's next year's 21st anniversary. Looking forward to seeing you all here again. Thank you very, very much and good night. <laughs> well,